Okay, questions for Marcel Dancy and Michael Sapel. Marcel, talk about uh, your performance in the second half. You came out flying out the gates, but um, you had a long wait there to wait for the weather to pass. How did it go for you? Uh, as a team, you know, we had to get past the delay. Um, you know, and I came out offensive line is the main reason. Um, the whole unit, tight ends, receivers, quarterback, and, you know, just the whole team perspective. You know, I just handled my job and did what I was supposed to for the team. So it's all on them. So my game goes to them, and I'm thankful to run behind these big dudes. Mike, it was really a, a new look offensive line. Sorry, I didn't mean to. Yeah, yeah, no worries, no yeah. worries. Um, I'm like just polishing new... like three Gatorades here. <laughs> First hydration. Yeah, it's like a new look offensive line tonight. How would you guys, how would you assess your guys' performance not looking at the tape, at least? I know, uh, not looking at the tape. Uh, that's a talented group of D linemen, obviously. I mean, um, they got some unbelievable guys, especially in the pass rush. You know, we felt the wrath of that in the first half. Um, and we have young, we have young guys, you know, so there's obviously going to be mistakes. Um, and we haven't played a lot together, obviously, due to injuries. Um, so in the fall camp, uh, we didn't get a lot of time to, to practice together with that unit. But, you know, it just goes to speak to uh, the culture that Coach Wood has built uh, in that O-line room. Um, you guys see it at practice, and people who are there uh, see, you know, if you play center, you got to play guard, you know, and some guards kick out the tackle. So um, you got to be able to play every position. He, he mixes groups. He rotates guys in game. He's rotating guys in. So um, it just goes to prepare you for a situation like this, you know, where uh, you're on the road in a big game and you have three new O-linemen, you know, essentially coming into the game um, in their first, you know, big Pac-12 game. So those guys played unbelievable. I mean, you know, you don't have to turn on the tape to, to look at the stats and see that, you know, our run game was there tonight and we were definitely clicking, especially in the second half. So so proud of those guys, and it goes out to them um, to, for not being nervous, you know, on the road against a great team. When do you think that that clicked over and switched to where you guys started to find that footing? Yeah, I think, um, you know, especially in the, uh, the first half, you know, when you get into third and long situations and things like that in the past game, um, you know, you're going to you're gonna get interesting looks, especially from a team like Washington, who, you know, has got some great defensive minds, um, you know, up in the box, you know, calling blitzes and things like that. So you can't let yourself get in those third and long situations. Um, we know that. Um, and that's, you know, we failed to execute on that. Um, and kind of, you know, when you get into third and long and it's third and 14 and you're throwing the ball, you're kind of at the defensive mercy, you know, as far as games and twists and blitzes go. Um, and obviously they got great individual pass rushers, as it is. Um, so I think as far as, you know, we, we felt that the run game was there, you know. We felt that the run game was there. It was, it was working. It was working, and, uh, especially when we came out in that second half and just scored on the first drive. You know, that opens everything up. Uh, that takes a lot of pressure off the offensive line. Uh, as far as blitz packages, because now they have to play, you know, in their base defense and stop the run. So um, that was basically the biggest turning point in the game. I feel like for both of you guys, yeah. um, when the kick goes through and you guys are done one one point with two minutes left, what kind of goes? What's the message that Coach Baldwin is giving you guys as you're heading out in the field? You know, I think it's really funny. Um, people think two minute is really high stress, and obviously it is. And uh, on a away game like that, and you know, crazy circumstances as far as the delay and things like that, you can blame it on. But, you know, it, it just goes to show how Coach Wilcox has prepared us. Um, you know, he'll stop practice in the middle of practice and say, hey, ball's down, two-minute drill. You know, because those are the type of situations that, you know, when you start becoming a great team, you know, the trajectory that we're on right now where we can win these big games, um, we have the talent and the scheme to win games like this, uh, you're going to get into more and more moments like that, you know. Um, knocking off team, great teams like Washington, uh, it takes – that talent, but it also takes, you know, the mental poise in those tough situations when it comes to a two-minute drill. Um, so unbelievable to those guys, especially, you know, that young offensive line um, that, that we were playing with, uh, just keeping their poise, knowing that we could win, and just having confidence. And uh, just go off that point, I think our team, like Mike said, our culture is, you know, we thrive off adversity. Um, we've been through so much of it, so, you know, just like you said during practice, you know, coach will start practicing you know, kind of test us in different ways and challenge us. So, you know, when we had this happen, you know, we know the team that we was going against. We knew the circumstances and we knew, you know, this is just, you know, another day at the office for us and we got to handle our business just like we would any other day. Okay, anybody else? A final question? Marcel, did you have the sense that when you finally got the chance to get extended playing time that you could do what you did today? I'm going to say it again, just running behind this all line is the reason I did it. So. I'll say this about him. He's an unbelievable back, and when you have a guy like this, and you guys saw today who's that slippery, 
who's slipping off linebackers left and right. Um, you know, they can try to drop an extra hat in the box, but having a talented back like that, uh, you know, we're going to make a miss, and we can really account for that guy now. Having backs like this, him and Chris, you know, running unbelievably. So uh, it gives us a lot of confidence as an O-line. Okay. Anything else? Final questions? Okay. Thanks, guys. Thank you.